Hey, you're right. So is it possible to create a peel off lip stain using a face mask? Well, the internet sure seems to think so. We are putting your skepticism to rest by testing out the internet's top beauty DIYs. I'm Karina. And I'm Myra. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Makeup Mythbusters. Let's do this. Long lasting lipstick is a definite goal because we want our lipstick to last throughout the whole day. So the internet has made peel off lip stains a thing. Today we're gonna to be testing out a two ingredient lip stain. Because if I'm gonna buy more than two products for this DIY, then I might as well buy a store bought lip stain. So for this DIY, we're gonna need some liquid based peel off face mask. Make sure it's clear. And some food coloring. I mean, peel off face mask. Food coloring, how could you go wrong with this? Yeah, I think I think it's gonna work. So we're gonna take our peel off face mask and we're gonna put it into some mixy containers. You don't need that much, by the way. Oh, that smells really good. It smells amazing. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do a rainbow because why not? So, so um, food let's, coloring. Yeah, let's start doing this. Okay. Oh, red. Food coloring is super, super pigmented. You need a tiny, tiny bit. I know this because I use it all the time. It's gonna pierce through this, honestly. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's not going through. Oh, I got it. Ooh. <laughs> Mix that in. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, I love this. It looks oh, pink. It looks so Look at mine. I love this. Okay, let's Ooh. do the next color. It's so pretty. Look at this. Ooh, this is like an orange. All right, let's do another color. Ooh. Oh, dang. Oh, sorry. How fun would this be for Halloween or like oh spirit day Oh my gosh, in school? amazing, seriously. Oh my God. Oh, that would have came in handy for a St. Patrick's Day. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. That was fast. All right, let's do this. Let's take this lipstick off. I'm feeling really colorful, so I legit want to do a rainbow on my lips. And I want to do galaxy or cotton candy, something, you know. I want to so use every color. color of the rainbow. I'm inspired right now, y'all. Let's do this. Yes. Oh, dang. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought, honestly. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh my god. This is cool. I feel like really thick, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's so refreshing too. And then it smells delicious. <laughs> I feel like it's starting to stiff up. Stiff up. Are you oh. see yours? Oh, I like yours. It's like but it, I don't think colors. it's gonna dry fast. Yes, it's a face mask. I already feel it drying on my lips. Oh, well, I'm probably putting it's literally much. drying already. I feel like you can't really talk. Like if you talk, you ruin it. So yeah, just gotta like it dry. All right, now that our peel mask has dried completely, we're gonna try peeling this off. I think it's gonna work. It's definitely gonna work, and I feel like it's not gonna be painful or anything because I already feel it peeling off a little bit on the side. Let's do this. Oh. oh, so it feels so perfect. Oh, it feels so good taking it off. This is so, so, it's like when you were little and you would put glue on your hand oh to God, peel it, it off. Works, Look, you guys. Oh my God. Look at mine, guys. You could see it completely. You could see the blue. The pink, imagine how pretty this would look, like just like a pink lip. It just gives you that natural tint. It's not supposed to look like a liquid lipstick either. <laughs> it's supposed to just tint it. it. Looks, I like it. I think this is worth being viral. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and make sure to subscribe. And let us know what other viral beauty DIY hack would you guys like for us to do next time. Bye. Bye.